Investigators say this woman's job gave her access to confidential police records. But tonight, she's accused of giving some of those records to her own son, who was under investigation. That woman worked for 30 years as a records clerk at the DeLand Police Department. Good evening. I'm Martha Sigalski. And I'm Greg Wormuth. She told investigators that she was desperate to help her son who was under investigation for selling stolen guns. Channel 9's Jeff Lefkulich live outside the police department. Jeff, you learned she just retired last year and recently came back to work for the city. That's right, Greg. She actually came back on January 16th to fill in to help the department out because they were trying to fill two vacant positions in the city. Two weeks later, deputies found out that she used the computer system here at the DeLand Police Department to get that confidential information about her son. As soon as the city found out, they fired her. Carmela Provenzano was honored for her 30 years of service to the DeLand Police Department last January before she retired, and this was her two days ago. Provenzano was booked into the Volusia County Jail. Deputies say Provenzano, who recently came back to work for the DeLand Police Department, used her position in the Records Department to access the Volusia County Record Management System and share confidential intelligence information with her son, Brandon Moore. He is accused of selling stolen firearms. When detectives confronted Provenzano about the allegations, Provenzano advised she was upset and not thinking clearly when she researched the case and recalled Moore being innocently prosecuted back in 2011 and wanted him to know what exactly he was being accused of. Provenzano also told deputies she hoped that if he was guilty, knowing the information would cause him to be truthful when law enforcement contacted him. No one answered the door at Provenzano's home today. A spokesperson for the city of Deland told us they terminated her as soon as they learned of the allegations on February 6th and told me that Provenzano made an apparent error in judgment by abusing her position. The allegations against her, if proven true, are unacceptable and will not be tolerated at the city of Deland and Deland Police Department. How did deputies find out? According to these those documents, Provenzano's son is the one who allegedly let the cat out of the bag. He accidentally told police that he knew about the reports that detectives had on him. And when they asked him how he knew about those reports, he told them his mother told him. Reporting live into the land, Jeff Left Coolidge, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.